Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I am coming back at you guys with another video and today it's going to be a eye look using the 35G Bronze Gold Artistry Palette from Morphe.com. Have it upside down. This is how it looks like right here. So if you guys want to see how I got this eye look, then keep on watching. But before we get on with the video, I need you guys to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell down below. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? I hope you guys are so proud of me. I am I am picking up the momentum and throwing videos out your way, guys, and I'm kind of excited for that. I just want to ride that wave, guys, because I really like doing this, you know what I mean? And I enjoy um just filming. Filming is fun. Talking to you guys is super fun and um yeah, I just I just gotta do these videos for you guys. Last week, Morphe came out with this palette right here, the 35G palette, and it's sort of like their bronzy palette. Uh, and this, this is this is it right here. And I feel like a lot of people tend to gravitate toward the this palette because look, guys, it has all these bronzy colors, gold, all these nice warm tone colors that everybody is. So love to do in their eyes I was like let me pick this up even though I have something similar to this honestly like I have colors like this in different palettes um, and there's a lot of warm tone type colors out there in the market but I like it the packaging is pretty and you know it's good to have like varieties when it comes to palette so I got it it's retail for $25 it's a dollar more than um, some of the palettes that Morphe sells which is $24 but what's the what's the, what's the extra dollar right right <laughs> I have no idea what we're gonna do today I'm just going in blind like I usually do um, so let's see what we could create with this palette my brows is already done I already primed my lid I did not set my lid so let's set my lid. I always set my lid with a powder. Right now we're gonna do the Maybelline Fit Me powder in the color medium. I just like setting my lids with this powder. It just smooths out everything. I'm not doing anything crazy in the eyes or crazy bright colors like I usually do. We're just gonna do like a nice warm type of look. So let's do that. So we're just gonna set. And I like setting this with a sponge. This is the Morphe sponge. This is gross, but um, I use this specifically just to set my eyes because it has like that flat um, curve right here, which is great to set um, underneath the eyes or your eyelids or whatever. I mean, you can use it for other things as well, but this is what I use it for. So this is how it's looking like so far. And you see how smooth my eyelids are. This is just perfect. I love this uh this powder this is awesome eight dollars guys get you one <laughs> so let's go in with the 35g bronze palette or bronze gold palette love it um this is it right here okay and i'm trying to figure out what transitional color i'm gonna do we're gonna do like a smoky gold eye look like something basic all right so we're gonna go in with the color spf which is this color right here that will be the first transitional so let's go and get a brush all right we're gonna go in with my m441 brush and then we're gonna take spf and then we're gonna use it as a transitional color so let's zoom in a little bit my skin looks terrible but you guys love me anyways i hope you guys do so m441 brush this is it right here with the color spf and then we're just going to use it as a transitional um color so we're just going to do back and forth when swiper motion and you know the deal i like to do circle emotions as well as back and forth so we're going to do that this is going to be your basic eye this is a pretty nice transitional this, this is not a bad color. I like to spread it out just above. So 
but this is how it's looking like so far guys now we're gonna go in with record temps so this is right here this is called record temp and then we're just gonna put it on the crease so the first color spf we put it on the crease and we dragged it upwards now we're gonna put the record temps which is like a nice burnt or brick brown color and then we're just gonna put it right in the crease and then we're going to deepen up the eyes. I'm taking the same brush. I don't like using a lot of brushes on my eyes if I don't need to. So we're taking the same brush which is the M441 brush and then we're gonna just use the same brush and just kind of just put this in the crease just to warm that color because SPF is a cool, is a cool tone color which is nice but you want to be bronzy, you want to be warm, and this is what we're going to do with the eye. This is how it's looking like so far, really pretty. I'm going to do the same with the other eye. Right in the crease, back and forth motion. And I'm not dragging the color out where I'm just keeping it close because I don't want that blown out look. I just want to keep everything in, okay? So that's how it's looking like. Now it's giving me the look that I want. Now with the same brush, we're gonna go in this tan up. So tan up looks like this. And then we're just gonna go just below what we did. I'm kind of dabbing it in the outer corner first and kind of just, you know, use circular motions. It doesn't matter if you get it on the lid because we're gonna do like a cut crease, a little cut crease here or a half cut crease. It doesn't really matter, but this is gonna go just below everything that we did. You're gonna blend the heck out of the eye. We're just going to do a semi cut crease. I'm gonna take my LA Pro concealer in the color Cool Tan. You can take any concealer. Um, and then we're just gonna do a cut crease. I'm gonna be taking my MAC 212 brush. Which, which is a concealer brush and that's what I'm going to use to um, carve out my carve out my uh, lids so let's go now this part is a little bit tedious and you want to take your time to get that desired shape that you want um, I've been doing this for a little bit now and um kind of have an idea but at first when I started doing cut crease it took me forever to like get it precise so this is how the half cut crease is looking like so far we're gonna do the other eye and then we'll be right back I'm done with my half cut crease um, now we're gonna go and try to see if we could figure out a lid color I want to do like a nice gold or a light color here and maybe a nice bronzy look right in the center or edge of everything so let's see what we're gonna do here so I'm gonna take my morphe um, continuous spray and I'm gonna take my Mac 213 brush and I'm gonna find a nice pigment to put in my eye I think I'm gonna go with color soul something very nice and light so we're gonna go with this color let's see how it works it looks a little bit light but maybe we could work it out so let's spray my with my continuous spray and then let's go in with the color soul so I like to tap it into the eyes I don't like to swipe it because you're just gonna disrupt your eye look so just tap it will be just fine so I don't want to go all the way in in I think this is fine wow this is a really pretty pretty color now let's spray that again now we're gonna go back with salt on the other eye. You can very, very pretty. Now, like I said, I'm not a fan of using a lot of brushes. I'm gonna flip it over and we're gonna come up with another color. Um, we're gonna go in with the color Hotness, which is this color right here. 
this is really pretty and then we're gonna fill we're gonna fill the rest of the lid with that color we're gonna wet the brush again with the continuous spray and then we're gonna pick up the color I'm just gonna finish off the look with that I'm gonna go back with salt a little bit and kind of just marry the color together so it looks like it's blending into each other instead of just gold red or gold or whatever color this is you know what I mean so we're just gonna take the salt color and kind of just blend everything together with it so it looks like it's supposed to be together you know now we're gonna go back with the 411 brush the brush I've been using for this entire look we're gonna clean it off a little bit with a paper no shame in my game we're gonna go back in with the color record temp which was like that nice brick color let me just show you guys again this color right here and then we're just gonna sweep the color inward just to create like some type of sunset effect so I'm just gonna take that color tap off the excess product and then we're gonna kind of sweep in the color This is how it's looking like we're just gonna just blend it in into hotness so that's how your eyes supposed to be looking like this is a pretty pretty color pretty pretty sunset color so now we're gonna do lashes I'm going to prep my lash with some mascara covergirl flourish blast so this is what I'm using in the color black. I'm not really picky when it comes to mascara because I always wear falsies. Um, so, and I always use drugstore, so it's no big deal. If you guys want to do a wing, you could definitely do a wing, but I'm not, I'm not a big wing type of girl. I'm just gonna use my old lashes, but this is the lash I'm using. This is the Morphe Premium Lash called Eye Traction. Um, I absolutely love this lash. Ish. <laughs> I really like this lash so um, that's what I'm gonna use but they're, they're gonna be an old pair because lashes are expensive you know and I wear lashes almost every like probably five times a week I just don't want to keep buying lashes you know what I mean you know what I mean so I'm putting them on I'll be right back okay guys I just finished doing my um, makeup so I did all all my face um, so and I added my lash so I'm just going to use my MAC uh, Ico Eye Pencil in the color Power Surge. It's just like a nice gold color. I'm going to treat it as a base for when I smoke out the bottom of my eye. I'm going to go in with the palette again. And then we're just going to go in to tan it up and we're just going to smoke out the bottom. I'm going to be using my Morphe M. 506 brush which is like a nice small blending brush um i'm just gonna smoke out the bottom of my lash now the same highlighter that i use which is the uh master chrome highlighter i'm gonna put it in the out the inner corners or outer corners whatever however you call it I'm just gonna sweep it underneath my brow bone, the same highlighter. And kind of just put that underneath this to keep that bronzy look going. Okay, so we're gonna do a nice nude lip color. We're gonna take NYX Club Hopper. I don't know, this is like one of my favorite lip liner ever. Now I'm gonna take Max Bronx. I believe this was a limited time color. I don't think you could get it in the Mac store, but I'm definitely positive that you can get it Mac website. <laughs> so make sure you check it out, but I hope it's not discontinued because this is one of my favorite nudes. Mm. 
Mm. Mm -mm. This is great. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Now I'm gonna take a lip gloss from Makeup Shayla's collection and it's called Neat Freak. Still got it, like it's almost done. I think all females' lips should be juicy, like. <laughs> How cute is this? Yes, lips, lips. Okay guys, so this is how everything came out. So this is the eye look and I really like it. It's really pretty, it's nice, bronzy, like fun type of eye look. I hope you guys enjoy this eye tutorial, this eyeshadow tutorial guys. I hope you guys recreate this look. If you guys have this palette, make sure you tag me on my Instagram because I would love to see um, some of the inspirations that you guys got from this look. That will be like a dream if you guys would do that. Um, so make sure you tag me and I will take a look. Make sure you guys follow me on my social media which will be down in the description box down below. So I will see you guys um, next time in a few days with another video. See you!